I can't believe the season's already over, yet we had 857 episodes of Love and Marriage Huntsville. It ain't no love. And the marriages is on the rocks. I mean, would you want any of those marriages on Love and Marriage? I don't think you would, because I have a very intelligent audience. I have an audience filled with self-respect and self-love that would never tolerate that kind of treatment from those kind of big uglies. Maurice, you may not be ugly, but your attitude certainly is. Oh, oh, it's a three-part reunion? Latrice gonna say it's a funeral for these hoes. I'm in all black. Latrice, you and your overseer, you and your boss, you and your father have given us very little story this season. A lot of the ladies don't really interact with you because you're not nice. You're a mean girl. You're pretty, but you're mean. And honestly, it's exhausting at this point. Oh, Lady Sha has her queen hair to remind them. You're the queen of busted brunches and dirty plates. You're the queen of taking back a sorry man. What are you the queen of? Because you give me not peasant, not peasant, but milkmaid. You give me milkmaid, busybody milkmaid, but no more than a milkmaid. In the words of the incomparable Electra Abundance, I give you second banana, I give you that, but no more. Come up with something with the Antiques Roadshow formula of everybody's waiting to see exactly how much it is. Oh God, in comes Carlos King in a purple shrug. And I know I'm shrugging my, and I know I shrug as to why we have to deal with you. You are black mediocrity, Carlos, and your shows prove it. Your greatest achievements were with Bravo and seemed to be in the past. You should have been, well, you never could have been next in line for Andy Cohen with that speech impediment. I mean, Again, a wonky eye is distracting, but nobody can understand you. So Akeisha wants to know who's lying about who wants her in the chat and who don't. Nobody wants you in the chat. Nobody likes you. Like, you're not enjoyable to be around. I groan whenever you're on camera. I'm surprised you're married, but you know, you light skin with the weird face. <laughs> oh my God, did Cat Williams say it applied to Oh my God. Wait a minute, Lady Show. Why are you dressed up like the girl that didn't get chose in coming to America? You call that queen hair? She wasn't the queen. Tambra's here, she didn't had her baby. Lady Show, you look like a fool. An absolute fool. Oh God, Carlos, what the fuck do you have on? You know, I actually thought the little two-tone with the coral and the navy was kind of cute. But then you got this, oh Lord. You don't have any breasts, Carlos. You don't need this tit strap here. Where's your shirt? Cause we know you love a bare ankle and a bare chest. You're not serving like you think you're serving. I thought you had a husband, the African that we never see. Probably cause he's embarrassed to be with you. Or like many of your lies, maybe he just doesn't exist. Who would want to lay up with that and listen to that? Trade, a hobo Cecil. Marie, what the hell do you have on? And where is Mr. Essie? Something about this outfit screams Beetlejuice. I don't know what, but it feels Beetlejuice. Tambra giving us ice skater. So Gucci looks nice. It's giving me a little Michelle Williams. It's safe, it's safe. And speaking of it's safe, I will be reviewing Drag Race. I just pray it's interesting enough for me to keep up with it all season because I haven't reviewed a full season of Drag Race in many a moon. Okay, Latrice, I gotta say, your dress cut a mean silhouette. It was doing a little too much with the, like, skirt, length, bunchy, crunchy, but I, I, I still, I have to give it its props. The silhouette. I just don't understand why she would dress up as the queen-to-be that never was. And then we gotta talk about the you, 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 you. We gotta talk about the unit, the flammable unit. Looks like your head gon' catch on fire. Oh, yes, it do. Looks like cotton candy on a spire. Oh, yes, it does. 
You took a yaki mat, brushed it out so flat, then you said that's that. We gotta talk about the you, 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 you. About the you, 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 you. We gotta talk about the you, The tree said I'm in all black because I want to put all the lies to rest. I wish you'd put that husband to rest. Oh, Carlos asked Marie about her BBL and I want to know too because your ass went from, because your butt went from flat to whack. I mean, it's definitely, you know, there. Even when the thighs match, it's still, it's just like, you could tell by that back, you, that ain't your butt. So we start with Latrice's package, and she considers Ladysha a big sister. I don't know, I feel like if I had a big sister, I'd look up to my sister. And Ladysha is sometimes enjoyable television, but never anyone I would look up to in life or business. I look up to Bronx in life. How is it that Bell Collective only got eight episodes this season, but Love and Marriage Huntsville got 31? 31. Dang, one more, you would have had four times as many episodes as Bell Collective. You could at least give them 16. Oh, God. So after that little package, Lady Shea and Latrice get to arguing about this damn nine to five comment. Latrice said you was big up in me. Lady, she said, well, no, I said my sister liked it, but other people were offended. I did bring up the comment. You'll sell your soul for your image. You are a liar. Everything came from you. You are miserable. I look into your eyes and I see you have nothing. Well, I mean, she's exhausted from being married to that self-centered coot. Latrice said, you want my life. Lady, she said, don't nobody want Cliff in your life. And you right. Don't nobody want Cliff. But nobody want Glenn either. I'd rather have Bronx. I can kind of get what Latrice is saying. She's like, look, you was fine during and after the festival, but the second the camera got on, all of a sudden you had issue. So now we get into Latrice's drama with So Gucci on this building. And So Gucci, we ain't seen you sell house to first heifer. We didn't seen it getting to your mama-in-law. We didn't seen you slap his ex-wife, but I ain't seen one house sold yet. Her and her husband found a building. Fount. F-O-U-N-D-T. Fount. 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 At like a fountain. They found a building and they just wanted Gucci to write up the contract. So she wanted her to write up the papers. It fell through and then she ain't hear from Gucci no more. Gucci's giving you could have let my ass know. Carlos said, well, Gucci, you should have had Latrice hemmed up with a contract as the realtor on record. Gucci thought they were closer than that. In business? <coughs> Biffa, please. Sorry, Gucci. It sounds like you dropped the ball. Latrice said, I lied about Gucci's success. That heifer don't know what she doing. Akeisha says, well, I didn't see her sell a house or two. Now, Latrice got people pulling up Gucci's brokerage records. See, this is the same thing you did with Marie, but want to throw a rock and hide your hand. Oh, she's only sold like five homes. Well, you don't know what other sales team she was on. And Keisha sees a lot of hurt and pain in Latrice. Yeah, because she bossed around by that overseer all day. And now we have A. Keisha's package. I don't know what we're going to do with three parts on this. Two was enough. Really one. Y'all need some more episodes. You had eight episodes. Now, they ain't accept your proposal. Why won't we talk about the lady's proposal that they did accept that's fixing up the whole block on the next street? But y'all got a TV show and four women that are supposedly bosses and still can't get Ferris Street together. Carlos asks, have you abandoned Ferris Street? And she gonna talk about a rough time in her marriage. Ferris Street's still in a rough time. Carlos said, well, since you had all the money, Akeisha, why ain't you bring Ladysha on? And she said, because it's only my second season and we've been fighting the whole time. Akeisha said, well, they just decided to sell it up parcel rather than the whole thing. So I'm going to buy one block at a time, one piece at a time. I ain't done yet, Heffa. All right. So she's got her next proposal in for Ferris Street and it's on the move. And we gonna close it out with Marie versus Latrice. Down to the Capitol. So Tambris says, well, I didn't get them to not honor Marie. I just didn't directly contact her. 
So wait, one minute you go and say Marie wasn't invited and they didn't want her there, but now it's Lady Isha's responsibility to invite her to somewhere she ain't invited? Oh, Marie wasn't invited because the tour guide is the same heifer that was putting together Tampra's baby shower because that's her cousin. Oh, so that's why you got a little pull at the Capitol because of nepotism. Not because you a boss, but because you was born. So Tambra dances around, and oh, don't put it on me. I just believe the message. I just, I'm so sick of your fake ass. Ooh. All right, well, that was the shit. We gonna have a sign little men next, and hopefully Mr. Essie. And I'll see you soon for something.